thank you for joining me back on this show today and um, I want to say it's good morning here for me. Uh, it's been a while since I've been doing any videos and now I can kind of let you guys know what's going on. Um, I have a father who lives here on the property and um, he's 92 so he's had some health issues and stuff some kind of starting to go into kidney failure so I've been having to you know deal with that situation and then um, a lot of you who know me and you have seen Toby on this show also who has helped me Toby has had some pretty severe seizures so we've had to make a decision and um, he has just now got out of uh, surgery from the Cleveland Clinic. He had to have part of his brain removed to stop these seizures. And everything went well. Toby is uh, waiting to come back, you know, to start helping me on the show. That's where I've been. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get in. Uh, Toby has like a six weeks recovery and uh, working with my father. So I do apologize for not being able to continue through the summer with my gardening. So I'm going to try to start fresh now. So today I have, these are my um, Amish paste tomatoes and these are my Roman tomatoes. Last year I collected them all. I just put them in the freezer and I did do a video on that where I just threw them all in the tub, cut holes in the bag and let all the water drain out. This year I'm not going to be able to have time to do some of that. So this is my first batch of tomatoes that I got. So about every three days I decide to just leave my system set up and do a little bit at a time. So this time I'm going to um, cut these, get the core out and cut these and boil them for a couple minutes, drain the water and then run them through the processor. Okay, let me see what we can do here. We're just going to remove this core. I did forget to get a dish. <laughs> We're going to slice these. These are pretty nice size Amish paste tomatoes. I do have another video where I did show an update. I have, oh, I'm sorry. I have not released that video yet, but I do have an update on uh, my garden right now it's at its prime time and so we're kind of going in full season with these uh, with the garden right now for uh, processing and uh, canning I've had a successful garden this year I did get some tomatoes or uh, potatoes canned and some onions done and I said I haven't been able to have time to video taking care of you know my family members right now so and I always said when I started the YouTube video my family will always come first all right we'll get these sliced up let me get a bunch of them going here how are your guys as uh, tomatoes been doing if you want to leave in the comment about how your gardens doing and pretty soon I'll be doing a garden cleanup here in a couple, probably about six weeks for fall. And I can show you guys how I get ready for my uh, garden, put it to bed and, and stuff. So I've already cleaned, uh, canned my green beans. And again, you know, I do apologize not being able to video some of this stuff, but I've just had to work in between and getting what I can, you know, get done. So this is a big Amish paste, kind of odd shaped. But I want to pick these tomatoes just ripe. And I said, I have, oh, I think I said, tw I think 25 tomato plants. And uh, so they're all doing pretty good. So for the next, every third day I will and I'm just this is just a regular sandwich tomato here but every third day I'm going to uh, do this process and can a little bit at a time as I can now I was able to get some help come in uh, to help me and give me some uh, four hours a day 
with my son. Um, some of you might know he, he is special needs son. So my to keep it in the family, my uh, oldest daughter went and got certified to be an independent provider so she can help out with Tobias. Tobias has like a, a six weeks uh, recovery. He'll have to learn, well he's already doing good, he's learned to walk again and talk, but it's amazing what they can do. They had to get that, uh, it's the front lobe of his uh, brain, and uh, they had to remove that because uh, it will teach the other side to start seizuring. So we had some pretty major decisions to make for Tobias. And I believe we made the best decision for him because he has that opportunity to go back and work a couple hours for uh, Wendy's restaurant. We have a Wendy's here that uh, let him uh, work. And that's, that's been great. He, he loves it there. Okay, I'm going to uh, keep uh, doing this and when I get them all done, We'll do the magic of the camera, and I'll be back. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm down to the last three here. You know, when I was talking about my dad going into kidney fair, um, what has happened? Sodium, about how all the boxed items and food you buy and cans and all that, the excess amount of sodium. And uh, we all know when you get older, your body starts not being able to handle that much. So we discovered my dad was consuming, can I believe it or not, around 5,000 uh, milligrams of um, sodium a day, which is you know, I believe the standard is around, according to his doctor, is around um, 25. But because he has to get the sodium out of his body and he has to watch it, um, I'm going to uh, cook for him here and reduce his sodium half. So I thought I would um, do some videos on his three meals a day that he'll be eating and I've, I've been able like he took these TV dinners and he was eating you know the TV dinner was like almost 1100 grams of sodium just for a little teeny tiny TV dinner I was able to make that same Salisbury steak with the mashed potatoes and the vegetables in the sodium for 250 milligrams so I've decided I'm going to um, do some videos on reducing sodium and basic meals for people and so if you're interested please you know leave in the comment below if you'd be uh, interested in some of these food preparations for low sodium okay we're going to move on to our next step now that we got this pan I'm going to stick it on the stove We're going to put this here and I'm not going to put it too high because I don't want to scorch the bottom but once I get it good and hot to where it can really uh, you know reduce some of the liquid the water in here then uh, we'll drain that and then we'll go ahead and you know put it through the mill there um, I've actually never done it this way I did look up on some uh, YouTube shows and a lot of people have used this method so for, I might like it. I might like it better than I did my other method. But this will make it quick for me to where I can do small batches under the circumstances uh, with uh, my family members here. Okay, then uh, we're gonna boil this down. So my next step is to drain, I should have put the water, reversed it here but uh, is to drain the liquid in the pan and let all the water run out. That's all that water. We don't have to boil down now. Oh, let me get this like this. All that 
that we don't have to boil down now. I mean, there's still going to be water in it when I strain it here through the grill, the mill. But that's just the liquid. That's not the meat of the tomato. So I'm going to let this drain for a while and then um, I'll get right back to you. <laughs> okay, now that I got mo a big percentage of the water drained out, now I'm going to run it through this thing here. This won't be a whole lot, but like I said, I've got to do what I got to do here. The timing for everything. Just push this down through. My, uh, let me get a better angle here. So, um, like I said, you're still going to have some water from the tomatoes, but that's okay because we can boil it down. Now there are all many different ways that you can do this. Get a little cardio going here. <laughs> but look how nice that comes out. Like I said, this is the, the thicker part is the meat of the tomato. The, this goes out this way. This was my mother's. This thing is over 40 years old. And I love it. Get my, oh, I spilled my tea here. Like I said, we're not going to get a whole lot of juice out of this many tomatoes. But it will help me. And then I'll, after I get this all boiled down to consistency, or I guess I won't boil it down yet. Um, after I get done with this process, then I will uh, put it in the fridge and then in three days I'll do another batch and then I will boil it down and then can it in the canner. Like I said, if you're, uh, usually Toby does this job for me. <laughs> but he's not able to at the moment. Next week he'll be back to uh, able to help me with some things. Now I will not put salt in this and I don't use a lot of salt in my stuff when I'm canning it. And this is good because I'm able to make my father's food with it and actually um, I'm thankful that my daughter is a nutritionist and so she is able to help me with uh, this low sodium uh, to make these meals for my father. And, and if anybody is interested, again, you know, leave it in the comment, comment if there's anything that you would like to see made in a, a lower sodium way. So maybe we can talk my daughter into doing a video on making the uh, a meal. Okay. Well, I don't have. Here's my pan. I think my uh, it's getting a little bit uh, heavy. Or too full here. Let's see if I can get this without. Now, I'll probably do this a couple times. Again, everybody does it different. Let me see if I can get the rest of it all in here.
always lay um, towels down. I have towels I use just for the kitchen and canning. It makes the mess easier to clean up. But I did have a lot, I do have a lot, a lot of tomatoes out there. This has been the best year for gardening for me. Except for the cucumbers. There we go. To run this through again. Let me get some of this out of here. This is all the seeds and skin and let's see what we get now. Let me wash my hands off here. Look at that. It's always good to run it through a couple times. Huh. Maybe we'll run it through one more time. See, that's, that's what we need. That's from the second time. I'll just, uh, after I'm done with today, this batch today, I'll just clean this up and leave this outfit here. So I don't have to keep putting things away. I do have another kitchen that I use to cook my main meals in. So this is my canning kitchen. That way I don't have to clean up my mess. I can leave things out and still cook meals. There we go, look at that, for oh, the third time. Well, just out of curiosity, let's aim for a fourth time and see what happens. Wow, this is really done a good job. and seeds uh, the skins well I don't know if I'd be able to do that or not but now I'll give them to the chickens I was gonna say I could dehydrate them and make a powder out of it so when needed let's see if we can get all this out of here now I believe we have it all right clean all this up here get all this off Tomato. I've been doing to potatoes a whole lot. All right, and then just clean all this off. Look at that. I know this is an older fashioned way of doing it, but like I said, my mother had it and she passed it down to me, and I've been using it for years. 
and it works fine and hopefully one day I'll pass it down to my daughter.